Hey guys, Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out. We got the Power Mech here by Air Warriors. Now this was sent over from the guys over there at Busby. Thanks again, you know, for an unbiased review we're going to give you guys on this thing. And man, it, you know, some of the stuff that's been coming out from the, you know, from the Busby crew. Again, if you guys aren't already aware, like Adventure Force and the Air Warriors, all of those. I mean, some of the stuff here has been crazy. I mean, it performs well. It does great. And the price is like ridiculously cheap. You know, I was always um, thinking, you know, hey, if I ever seen these on the shelves, I'm like, oh, that's never going to perform as well as Nerf does. But, you know, 2020 has been a crazy year. And man, some of the stuff they're coming out with, you're like, wow, you know, I, I'm paying two or three times that to get the performance of one of these things. So it is something to kind of think about. But I'm going to give you my honest opinion on this and uh, we'll kind of go from there. Anyways, uh, you know, from Air Warriors, uh, I don't see many of their blasters out there. I've been seeing a lot of kind of the uh, the Adventure Force stuff, but I do see these from time to time. We did do a review on the Slingshot. I saw that and I was like, hmm, let me try that. I, you know, it's something completely different than an actual blaster, but I figured, you know what, let's try that. So if you haven't, check that out. It's kind of, it's kind of cool and super cheap. Anyways, let's get right into this actual power mech itself. Let's take a look at the actual box. So if we take a look at the box, the front of it, you know, it's not that bad. Usually on the Air Warriors boxes, they have kind of those cartoony characters down there holding the blaster. This one, motorized, fully automatic, fires 20 darts in 8 seconds and shoots up to, quote unquote, 90 feet. I really like this because I love a blaster that is automatic, where you can hold the trigger and have it just rip off a bunch of shots. Uh, if we do take a look at the back here, you get a better idea of kind of the blaster itself. Goes into a little more detail. Again, blast up to 90 feet. It got the 20 darts. It got the new improved darts. Now, I have yet to compare the quote-unquote new darts to the old darts, so I couldn't tell you if they are a little bit better. But still, nothing too crazy on the back. It does go over, again, that slingshot that I kind of talked about that we did a review on, if you guys are curious on that. But again, the box, you know, no spoilers, nothing like that. It is what it is. So, you know, taking a look at the actual blaster itself up close, it's actually not that bad. I mean, you kind of look at, okay, they didn't do too many frills and gimmicks on here. It's pretty much the blaster, kind of like a, a Superman kind of color theme here, right? With the blue and the red, but uh, yeah, nothing too fancy on it. Just pretty much just really clean lines, the power mech logo right there. And that's about it. I mean, it just, again, they don't go over the top on it. Now, one of the things with this particular blaster, I was like, okay, I see that it's, it's fully motorized and it's automatic, but how many double A's does it take? Is it C batteries? Is it D? What is it? I didn't see anything on the box. So if it's on the box, you guys let me know because I scanned that whole thing and couldn't find it. But there is a battery compartment, again, on the uh, right-hand side of the blaster. And pretty much it's just like all the other blasters where you just take out the screw. And this one's going to be, of course, four double A batteries. So four double A's, you guys know it, it equals to six volts. You guys know my thing on six volts, right? Six volts is okay, but I much rather prefer blasters or the 9.6, right? You get so much more performance, about 33% more when you do pump up to 9.6 volts. And, you know, if you want to mod it to 11, you get so much more. But again, it, you know, the double A's, not too bad. You're going to be able to shoot this thing for quite a while on those. Maybe I might upgrade this thing later to like a 9.6, uh, you know, or a 7.2 LiPo. Or maybe give it a little, you know, pack in two more double A's if I can fit them in there. But still, four double A's, not too bad. Usually I can kind of guesstimate the performance based upon how many double A's it's gonna take. So again, four double A's for this blaster. Now, the actual grip itself, the handle, it's actually not, it is not bad. It, it actually fits, it fits my hand pretty well. I do have to admit that the top little groove there for kind of the indent part between your thumb and your pointer finger is a little more aimed towards smaller hands, again, for kids. My adult hand doesn't fit too well on that little top grip, but still the back plate as well as the front feels really, really good. And I didn't even notice it until I was like, man, I can't, my, my palm, my, my, my right, my, you know, doesn't fit in there, what's going on? It still actually feels pretty good uh, in my hands. Now, one of the things to note about this particular blaster is kind of the top tactical rail up there. Now, the thing with the top tactical rail, it is not your quote unquote nerf style top tactical rail. So none of your nerf items are going to work, especially like, uh, you know, the 
I don't know, the scopes and the modulus stuff. It's just, it's too wide for it. It is actually a standard width of kind of a quote unquote Picatinny rail. So this is kind of the standard that comes on really the Adventure Force line. So if you do have any of the extra accessories, say from like the Spectrum and things like that, you could fit the scope on top of here. Or if you have other Adventure Force stuff like the Frantic Fury, you guys can put like this, you guys can put like the, um, the flip up red dot scope on there. Or if you guys have real quote unquote, uh, <laughs> real quote unquote scopes that you wanna stick on there, perfect, they're gonna fit just as well. It is, and, and I kind of like that, that, you know, you can get kind of these, uh, more, I don't say realistic, but these kind of better scopes that look a little cooler on there than say a big, huge plastic scope that doesn't do anything. And some of these are like super cheap on Amazon. So that's one of the reasons why I like these bigger kind of quote unquote standard tactical rails. So you can fit, you know, some of your, I don't know, more useful style accessories on the top. Now, on the front of this particular blaster, you do have, of course, the drum up there that holds 20 darts. And the darts themselves, yes, they are gonna be kind of this, the standard uh, Air Warriors darts. They kind of have that blackish gray kind of uh, tube with kind of that, I don't know, slimish green on the top. Again, very similar to what you get when you say you get like the slingshot. It, it pretty much had the same color scheme, but right on the slingshot, it had like the suction darts. Now here's the thing guys, I wanna show you a little comparison between these darts and some of the other darts that you kinda of can get in the industry, right? The waffle heads, the e-vikes, um, uh, the, uh, the Nerf Elite darts, and some of, the, some of the megas there, just to give you guys an idea of how these darts look like comparison to some of the other ones in the industry. Now one of the things to note is on the Adventure Force line, right, the distance darts are a little bit more different. They have more of a, a coned tip comparison to these ones are more of a flat head, not uh, as an aggressive. So I don't know, maybe it has to do something with the extra 10 feet or something that the, uh, that the uh, Adventure Force line tends to say they can do. Now, so that drum, it doesn't come out, but in the front here or on the left-hand side, you got your, your kind of pullback switch here, which pops the front up. So as it pop fronts up, you just <laughs> kind of goes up. And I assume they do this for either A, quickly reloading, which you don't need to do, or maybe clearing a, dra a jam from the front of these. I, you know, again, I, you know, I could see either or, but again, I thought the drum might've popped out or something like that when you do that, but no, it pretty much, it's, it's in there to stay. I'm pretty sure you can torque it out, but I wouldn't do it. Um, I always found myself just reloading this thing by putting them right there in the front. And I actually didn't have any jams. Um, I shot six drums through this. I shot a bunch of them with the stock darts that come with it, as well as like the waffles and things like that. And I didn't have any problems, any jams with either of those. Now, one of the things that I noticed about this is there is no dart post in here. So I was like, hmm, maybe I can stick a half length dart or a short dart in there. So I tried doing that and they sure do fit if you pack them down in there. I shot them, but unfortunately they kind of come out kind of funny and I think it's probably just due to the length right they come out kind of funny and wonky so I don't know I don't know how to improve that on this but I was thinking wow I could shove some uh, half length darts in there and let's see how they act coming out of the uh, the actual blaster so it yeah I was hoping I was crossing my fingers for you guys out there um, on this now you know the only other blaster that I can compare this to currently I would say it's probably something like this, which is gonna be the Nerf Ultra 1. Now I know these are, are again, in two different price categories. This one right here is only 20 bucks. I mean, which is unbelievable for the performance. And this right here is gonna run you about 50. So it's kind of the same thing, right? Drum, I know it's not automatic. I know it's, you know, but still it's what I consider kind of on the same level, right? Drum, mechanical, I get that this one has a little more, a couple more features comparison to this, but it's the one that I can kind of compare it to. You can say if you wanted to, that it also compares to uh, uh, like the Villainator here. But again, this is not electronic, but still it's kind of the same thing with the drum and everything, but still it's very hard to find something that compares directly to this on a one-on-one -on -one level. So let's take a, a quick shot of me, you know, kind of shooting this thing here. So here's the thing to note. I'm first gonna show you guys me shooting this thing with the standard darts, right? And they all shot great. I did notice a little bit of veering to the right, a little bit of veering to the left, uh, a couple straight. I mean, not 100% accurate, but still, I mean, it's, you know, 
you're going to dump 20 in eight seconds. So you're just, you're just spraying and praying. And it wasn't too bad. It was shooting right about the 70 FPS mark, 70, 75, which is about what I would expect from a six volt or four double A um, style blaster. Now, I also went ahead and shot with some of the, of course, waffle heads. And the waffle heads have always been kind of my, almost my de facto that I go to now. And I noticed with those, you get a little bit more of a consistent shot. They didn't veer as much to the right. They didn't veer too much to the left. They're more or less, right, straight, 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 straight. And after kind of examining both of them, I feel like the, um, the Adventure Force darts are... It's like the casing is a little bit harder, I think, is what it is, comparison to the um, or the Air Warriors line. I, I I feel like it's just a little more it's a little more hard. So I don't know if that has to do with something when you're shooting it. You know those those we, those wheels are kind of you know crushers are pushing it through, and maybe because they're not the darts that come with this aren't as hard. Maybe that's the reason kind of they're veering off to the right or the left. I don't know, but I still think that hey, 70 75 FPS. Uh, is great. I, I, I can't say nothing wrong about that. So, you know, guys, the Power Mech, it, it's for the price, you know, for 20 bucks, you get a full auto blaster with 20 darts and it just shoots well. And so it's, it's hard for me to find anything that compares to this in this price. It is very hard. And I think it's kind of cool. I mean, you know, overall, I like a blaster that I can kind of, um, you know, just have one shooting mechanism the whole time. So if you guys remember um, uh, on our drum, uh, our, on our blaster here, uh, you know, this was great, but the problem is, is you, you had to flip the on trigger so the motors revved all the time, no matter what. So if you're running around, this, the motors are on and there you go. And I didn't kind of like that, but I did like the drum. Come on, you guys thought I was, you thought I was gonna do a video without talking about the drum mag? But that's the only reason I didn't like that particular blaster. And I always like a blaster that has everything kind of built into one, right? When you pull the trigger and do all of that, it kind of revs and does all that. Uh, this is very similar to um, the Hurricane that we had here, where everything was, you just pull the trigger, it revs and shoots at the same time. I don't have to hold the rev, then shoot. Now, with that whole mechanism, though, on this, as you guys can see, it makes the trigger pull actually kind of long, right? So you have about half an inch of rev and then about a half an inch for the actual pusher to push the dart. So it is a long kind of uh, trigger pull per se, but you don't have to go all the way back forward and then pull it again for another one to go out. You could actually leave it revving and just hold it, right? See that? So you can hold it, rev it, and then pull it back and just hold it and it goes, 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 fully automatic. And then, of course, if you wanted to stop and just have it revving, you can just hold it halfway. So it's revving, but it's not advancing. And then you can go, right? Just like that. So I like that. I like having the option, but it is, again, a long trigger pull. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think of this. I'm always curious, again, what you guys think of these kind of fully automatic blasters, if you guys have it. And if so, I mean... Tell me what you guys have done. Have you guys modded this thing? You know, how do you guys like it? Is it standing the test of time? I mean, again, I've already put 600, 700 rounds to this thing, and it's been shooting just fine. Um, I haven't put it through any blaster uh, kind of battles yet in the yard, but I hopefully to, you know, plan to do that here soon. Still, yeah, just let me know what you guys think of this. Again, I am always curious. And definitely subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. <laughs> Thanks again, Fox fans.